Na mtazamaji karibu kwenye mwanga wa Ebru jina langu ni Busara na Aman na mtafsiri wa lugha ishara kwa upande wake ni Joyce Wairimo. Na waziri wa elimu George Magoha ameonya vikali dhidi ya shule zinazokusudia kuwafukuza wanafunzi waliokosa karo za shule zinapoanza rasmi muhula wake wa pili mtazamaji akizungumza baada ya kuzuru shule moja jijini Nairobi kuangazia jinsi wanafunzi walio katika gradi ya nne, darasa la nane, na kidato cha nne walipofika shuleni Magoha amesema muhula wa pili utaanza walipoachia wanafunzi shule zilipofungwa Safari ya ufunguzi wa shule imengoa nanga hii leo. Miezi saba baadaye na polepole hali kikusudiwa kuwa shwari hata katikati mwa janga la virusi vya corona. Baadhi ya wanafunzi wakiwa na raha ya kuungana tena, kuungana huko japo kwa masharti. Eh, ni tricky but si itabidi uzoe. Eh, iko poa juu. Sasa tutamaliza this year at least mwaka yote atujapoteza vitu mingi. Uh, at least tutakacha hapo na fomu wa nyako mbele nyako nyumbani. Wazazi nao kwa upande mwingine wakiwa shingo upande kuhusiana na shughuli nzima ya ufunguzi. Kero la karo na jumbe fupi ya kuatarisha watoto wao likiwakosesha lepe la usingizi. It, it's been a tough year but um, we are hopeful that all will be well. Um, we know from what we, we we gather from the small research that we have done that covid is going to be with us. Uh, for, 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 for a long time and not just Kenyans it's just our, it's a pandemic therefore it, we cannot say that uh, probably a certain time is the best time to open schools to open the economy we were just got by abrupt the time which we were given it was not enough to prepare but we are all good we are set for school because the, the, the closing has been long uh, since much up to this time hata hivyo wizara elimu nayo ipo mbioni kuangazia wazazi na kulainisha matayarisho yao ya kuwarejesha wana wao madarasani. But for the boarding schools where boarding uh, charges are, are charged, may I once again plead with our principals and head teachers to ensure that no child is sent home on account of school fees both in the private and the public sector Akizuru shule moja msingi jijini Nairobi waziri George Magoha zaidi amezisuta shule za kibinafsi zinazokusudia kubadili ratiba ya kalenda ya masomo ya mwaka huu For the private schools where some people have tried to equate reopening with those who had online classes We want to make it very clear that all children will start from where they left. Even if you make so much noise, if you send a child home because the child did not uh, engage in online classes, that is criminal and we shall come for you. The fact that it's a private school does not protect. Kwa sasa Wizara ya Elimu imewapa notisi wazazi kuendelea kuwatayarisha wana wao walio katika madarasa mengine kwani huenda wakarejea madarasani wiki mbili kutoka sasa. Idadi ndogo ya wanafunzi wakirejea madarasani kwa muda wao wa pili inazidi kushuhudiwa. Hata hivyo kwa Wizara ya Elimu kwa upande wake ipo mbioni na ipo na imani kwa masomo yataendelea hata katikati mwa janga la virusi vya corona. Mili ya Kisenya Mwanga wa Ebro. Na mtazamaji huku shule za msingi na za upili nchini zikitimiza agizo la kuanzisha upya mafunzo kwa baadhi ya wanafunzi baadhi ya shule zimejipata katika njia panda baada ya kuzama katika janga la mafuriko. We want to make it very clear that all children will start from where they left. All children will start from where they left. Huku baadhi ya wanafunzi wakirejea shuleni baada ya likizo miezi sita kutokana na janga la virusi vya corona. Kulikuwa na changamoto kidogo sana sana kuhusiana na mambo ya maji upande wa kusini ambapo maji yamezunguka shule fulani. Wanafunzi wa grade nne pamoja na watahiniwa wa mitihani ya KCPE na KCSE katika shule tano kaunti ya Busia wamelazimika kutafutiwa njia mbadala baada ya shule walimokuwa wakisomea kuzama katika janga la mafuriko itabidi tutoe watoto tupeleke shule zingine kwa mfano shule ya Buongo shule ya msingi ya Buongo imezungukwa na maji na watoto hawawezi wakaenda pale kile kingine ambayo imeathirika na maji ni Musoma 
primary school ambayo tumeihamisha wanafunzi wake waende wasome Rugunga tena kuna shule ya Igigo ambayo pia iliathirika na maji ya karibu miundo msingi kama vyo kwa mujibu wa naibu mkurugenzi wa elimu katika eneo hili bwana George Omwoche wanafunzi wamelazimika kuhamia shule nyingine za karibu na hivyo basi kukoleza changamoto ya kuweka umbali kati ya mwanafunzi mmoja hadi mwingine haswa katika madarasa kiwa maji hayatatoka itabidi tena tufikirie vingine kwa hivyo hizo ndizo shule ambazo zimeathiriwa lakini masomo yataendelea na huko maafisa wa elimu wakisalia na tumaini kwamba hali itarejea kama kawaida hivi karibuni wazazi wametakiwa kujitahidi kuona kwamba wana wao wanaenda shule bila kukosa uh, barakoa itabidi wazazi wajaribu wapatie watoto barakoa kwa sababu sasa hivi mtoto anavyotoka nyumbani haifai atoke nyumbani bila barakoa na mtazamaji kwingineko chama cha mawakili nchini LSK kimeshikilia kuwa sheria zitakazopitishwa bungeni kuanzia hii leo si halali. Wakiongozwa na Nelson Harvey chama hicho kimeshikilia kuwa wajumbe wamefeli kuafikia jukumu lao la kupitisha sheria ya 32 ya jinsia. Na hii ni kufuatia ushauri wa jaji mkuu David Maraga ambao kufikia hadi sasa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta hajauafikia. Mwanahabari wetu Abdulaziz Hashim na taarifa hiyo. Mida ya sana ni unusu chama cha mawakili nchini LSK kilikongamana nje ya mahakama ya upeo lengo lao likiwa kuandamana hadi bunge la kitaifa. Na baada ya kuwasili bungeni, mawakili hao walikutana na maafisa wa polisi. Havi chini ya ulinzi mkali alielekezwa hadi ofisi ya spika wa bunge la kitaifa Justin Muturi ambapo walipatana na karani wa bunge la kitaifa Michael Sialai. Parliament is law abiding. We follow the law. Uh, the same constitution that gave powers to the chief justice to advise the president is the same law, the same constitution will go back to appeal and seek relief. And I was assuring them that to that extent, to that extent, we really are unable to say members should not work, that parliament should not uh, do their normal duties, discharge their mandate. And this such a time that this matter is hard and determined by court. Tayari chama hicho kiliwasilisha notisi kwa bunge la kitaifa na lile la seneti kuhusiana na uhusia wa jaji mkuu David Maraga ambaye lipendekeza bunge kuvunjwa kwa kutowafikia jukumu lao kuhusiana na sheria ya 32. One or two provisions that ends this parliament. One is a fluctuation of time after five years term. The power to dissolve parliament is no longer in the constitution. But also under article 261 Chief Justice could advise the president to serve and those are the only two and this such a time that those provisions of the constitution are implemented really I think as an institution our hands are here but effective today parliament is illegitimate any person who until today was an elected member of the national assembly or the senate has ceased being an elected member Chama hicho na serikali kuu wamefika mahakamani kuhusiana na ushauri wa jaji mkuu David Maraga. And we are not limiting our struggle to the two third gender rule. There are many other reasons as to why parliament must go home. It has failed to oversight the executive. It has failed to hold the president accountable. And that parliament is always open. Not only in this issue of dissolution of parliament, but actually looking for the answer to the problem we are facing as a country. As Article 27 says, the state shall is obligated to put into law and legislative policies to effect the truth. Ikiwa bunge litavunjwa, tumehuru ya uchaguzi itatarajiwa kuandaa uchaguzi mpya katika muda wa miezi mitatu. Kinachosalia sasa ni wapo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ataafikia wasia wa jaji mkuu David Maraga huku chama cha mawakili nchini LSK kimeshikilia kuwa kuanzia leo bunge si halali. Abdelaziz Hashim mwanga wa Ebru County ya Nairobi. Na kwingineko wenyeji wa Kawangware hapa jijini Nairobi wameandamana wakilalamikia kuuawa kwa mwenzao na afisa mmoja wa polisi waandamanaji hao wametoana kijasho na maafisa wa polisi waliokita kambi eneo hilo kwa zaidi ya masaa saba. Wanahabari wetu Jeff Kaemba amevalia njuga taarifa hiyo. 
katika eneo la Kawangware 56 milio ya vitu wa machozi ilitawala nipe ni kupelisha mimi mchana kutwa e, kati ya polisi na waandamanaji kila barabara ilizibwa huko mioto ikiwasha katikati yake huku shughuli za kibiashara zikilemazwa e, polisi walikita kila pembe wakikabiliana na waandamanaji dhidi ya mauaji ya jamaa wao Kuna kijana wetu anaitwa Deno. Yeah. Alishikwa kwa area ya Changa. Yeah. Alikuwa na kivinjari yeah. Thursday. So kwa njia Thursday tulikuwa tukitafuta mahali hapo tujampata. Lakini jana tupata information na ametubwa kwa ngando kwa reli. Kijana wetu amekatakatwa yeah. mwili yani wezi jua kichwa ni gani party zimekatanishwa. No? Serikali istahili kuangamiza wale watu ambao wanafanya yake ulinzi. Wezi wezi angamiza mtu kama kama Miss Meat kichwa ana miguu ana. Kwani kukaa hii kawangware tunafanya hatia. Zaidi ya masa saba, vijana hawa waliendela na mchezo wa paka na panya, hali liyo wakira maafisa wa polisi, wale memina vitu wa machozi, hadi kwa nyumba, lakini juhudi za polisi, kurajesha alitulivu iliambuli ya patupu, kwani vijana hawa, wale rundekana ateno kwa makundi, na kwa kozesha amani polisi. Polisi wanatumia kumuwa mwana boda boda mmoja ambapo kiwili wili chake kilipatikana katika tia reli eneo la kibra. Vijana wetu wamewawa wengi sana atujiwa wanaendaga aje. Tukiansia kachogo, kachogo wetu walipotea atujui mahali hako baka sahi mwaka, mwaka moja unaisha. Eriko alikuwa atujui. Mustafa undi ujusi alikuwa atujabatha justice na deno undi uyu. Ile maneno sisi tulikuwa tunafanya tulireformu kitambo. Unajua kama angekuwa na pikipiki tungejua ni accident maybe amegongwa. Pikipiki yake alikuwa ameachiana akashikwa akiwa peke yake na hivyo ndio watu wa moto wanatuambia alipatikana kwa reli. Nataka haki ya deno, haki ya kachogo. Wamezoea kuchukua vijana hapa wakipotea. Ulingana na wao polisi waliwatia nguvuni watu watatu katika bao moja eneo la Kaongware. Hata hivyo, wawili waliachiliwa na kufululiza moja kwa moja na Dennis aliyepelekwa katika kituo cha polisi. Lakini kulingana nao, Dennis hakuna kiliwa kwenye kitabu cha polisi cha matukio cha OB e, kabla mwili wake e, kupatikana kwenye reli. E, polisi sasa wameanzisha uchunguzi dhidi ya mawaji e, kama anavyoeleza OCS. Ibona sema wewe kama uko na ushahidi fulani hata kama ni kidogo kiaskani kama vile unasema kama alishikwa na watu tatu njoo nieleze niliona hii na hii. Hiyo itakuwa inatusaidia. Lakini kuongea kwa watu ukisema hivi hiyo itakama haina tusaidia. Njoo katika ofisi utueleze tuandike maandishi then tufanye uchunguzi. Hii si mara ya kwanza polisi kutumiwa Kushiriki katika mauaji ya kiolela olela, licha idara ya polisi, kujivunia kuwatumishi kwa watu wote nchini. Huku wanda manaji wa kawangware wakitafuta haki kuhusu mauaji ya moja wao. Idara ya polisi meanzisha uchunguzi kabambe angalao kuweza kubaini ni nini kilicho sababisha mauaji hayo na nani alia usika. Nikiripotia mwanga wa ebro jina langu njef haemba. Shukran sana Jeff Haimba kwa taarifa hiyo na bila shaka haki itendeke kwa wote. Tukiachana na hayo basi tuangazie makala yetu maalum jioni ya leo na ni kwamba Rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika siku za hivi karibuni ameonyesha azma yake ya kufanya kazi kwa ukaribu na wanajeshi. Hata hivyo wa Kenya wana maoni yapi kuhusiana na mtindo huo? Hii hapa taarifa iliyoandikwa na mwanahabari Eric Munene na kutiwa sauti nami Busara Nama. Mnamo mwaka 2014 mwaka mmoja tu baada ya Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuchukua usukani Jenerali Msaafu Gordon Kihalangwa aliteuliwa na baadaye akawa mkurugenzi katika idara ya uhamiaji kuteuliwa kwake kukawa mwanzo wa wanajeshi wengine kupewa majukumu ambayo hapo awali yalionekana kuwa ya raia the military discipline their commitment their sacrifice their love for country is very outstanding and these are virtues I think the president wants to tap as he, he deploys these men all across uh, his government.
Rais amekuwa akionyesha azma yake ya kufanya kazi kwa ukaribu na wanajeshi huku akimteua wanajeshi mwingine katika juhudi zake za kupambana na ufisadi. Afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya maadili na kupambana na ufisadi ESCC Talib Mbarak. You know, you know, you know that is politics and uh, unfortunately with my background in the military I don't like involving myself in politics. But uh, to me uh, anybody from the military is a citizen of this country. And there's no law which has said that if you're from the military, you cannot be appointed. So I think the, the military, we are just lucky that now we are getting uh, appointment in uh, the public service. Rais Badae, akamteua kanali Cyrus Oguna, kuwa msemaji wa serikali, alichukua mahali pake Eric Kiraithe. Mwenda Mbijiwe ambaye ni mtaalam wa masuala ya usalama anasema kuwa sababu moja ya rais kuonyesha nia yake ya kufanya kazi kwa karibu na wanajeshi ni kutokana na nidhamu yao. Hata hivyo, nidhamu ya wanajeshi imetiwa suto hapo awali kisa kimoja kikiwa ni kile cha Westgate ambapo wanajeshi walionekana kuiba vitu kutoka maduka ya jengo hilo lilipokuwa limeshambuliwa na magaidi wa kundi la kigaidi la Al Shabab. In the military if you are caught corrupt or if you get yourself involved in corruption even those at Westgate, those that you know we saw in the videos and took people's stuff they were all dismissed from service and charged in in, in court martial you know and so the procedure of justice in the military is simple straight to the point in fact when you appear in court martial you're not even going to to argue if you're guilty or not you're going there for them to read the charges to you and then they open another book and read for you the punishment for those charges so it's it's a very easy process it's not this see we're looking now this uh, mp for some place um Syria. he he was convicted of 67 years in jail and he's now on the streets walking Mtindo wake rais wa kuwahusisha wanajeshi katika masuala ya raia ulichukua mkondo mwingine alipoihamisha tume ya nyama nchini KMC na kuiweka chini ya usimamizi wa wanajeshi jambo ambalo limewaacha wakenya wengi kinywa wazi hata hivyo mbijiwe ana wazo tofauti kuhusiana na hilo The Kenya Meat Commission it's been problematic for a long time you know been making losses even when the sale of meat in the Middle East and other countries Europe has been you know, some of the lucrative businesses. I know people become millionaires through Kenya Meat Commission. They buy cattle in uh, northeastern, they, they fatten the cattle a bit and take it there for slaughter and ship all the meat abroad, you know, and they become millionaires. Some are built big hotels, big uh, estates, but the, the KMC has been going down, making losses. Kuhamisha idara kadhaa kutoka kwa serikali ya kaunti ya Nairobi na kumkabidhi mwanajeshi Mohamed Badi kuziendesha ilikuwa ishara tosha kuwa rais anaweza kufanya lisilo kusudiwa kama njia moja ya kuimarisha utendakazi wake. Na hata nimepelekwa kotini ati ya kwamba ati mwelekeo wangu ni kumilitarize the country. I have no such intention. Lakini ni mjinga peke yake ambaye hata tumia hakili na wale ambao wana uwezo kumsaidia kutimiza kazi ile ambaye ameamua kufanya mimi i am not militarizing anything i am using reliable kenyan citizens Tulizungumza na wakazi wa Nairobi ili kupata maoni yao kuhusiana na jinsi shughuli zinavyoendeshwa katika kaunti ya Nairobi Songo rescue team ilikuwa songo rescue team kabla ya songo kwa governor na sasa songo ni governor na tena bado songo rescue team kwa nini songo kama alikuwa na hii idea apereki kwa county iwe a policy kama anaona ni mzuri na hii hii inaletwa na indiscipline ambayo iko kwake hata kabla hajakuja kwa hii kazi kwa hivyo mimi naunga mkono rais aendelee kuweka discipline forces itutie discipline kidogo kwa sababu tume lack discipline we have 230 million that was allocated to Nairobi county for covid-19 now there are some serious audit questions about the, the, that 230 million and that money was given to NMS to Mbad. it was not given to the county government of Nairobi but if you go to the list of counties that have misappropriated those funds Nairobi county is listed there not NMS it is Nairobi county which is listed so and various other things so this one and we don't know how we can approach it because this is a military person 
Rais Aidha amezikabiri idara za ndege zinazomilikiwa na mashirika ya serikali kwa kikosi cha wanajeshi wa anga. Lakini wa Kenya wana maoni yapi kuhusiana na mtindo huo? Ndege ambazo zinatumiwa na askari wa ndani. Kazi ya jeshi ni kuchunga external. Lakini hasa wameanza kuletwa kwa civilian. Sasa utaniuliza command itakuwa ya nani? Itakuwa mtu ambaye ndiye anapeana command ama ni kibicho anapeana command. The president as much as watu wake wamemfail. Kuna civilian ambao wanazofanya kazi. Kuleta jeshi katika kuweziweka katika zile idala kitu ya kwanza ni kupigana na corruption. Corruption imekita sana imekita mizizi kwa hii nchi. When you give a civilian a job, the first thing the civilian will think of is to siphon the public money so that to benefit himself and a few of the family members. These things should be done with limitations. Only limited to service delivery. So I support this action. Hukumu hule wa rais ukifikia ukingoni, wachanganuzi wa masuala ya kisiasa wanasema kuna mengi ambayo rais hajatimiza. Je, kuwategemea wanajeshi kutamwezesha kutimiza hadi zake kwa Wakenya? Kabisa kabisa. Na bila shaka taarifa study. Asante sana Eric Munene kwa taarifa hiyo. Na tukisonga mbele huku wanafunzo darasa la nne, darasa la nane na kidato cha nne wakirejea shuleni Wizara ya Elimu inashikilia kuwa wanafunzi wako salama wakiwa shuleni. Hata hivyo kulingana na taarifa kutoka kwa Wizara ya Afya inaonyesha hali tofauti kwani idadi ya maambukizi inaendelea kuongezeka kwani katika saa 24 watu 11 wamefariki kutokana na virusi vya COVID-19 huku watu wengine sabini na watatu wakiambukizwa Miongoni mwa walioambukizwa sabini ni wa Kenya huku watatu wakiwa raia wa kigeni aidha wa kiume ni 46 huku wa kike wakiwa 27 kwa mara ya kwanza mtu mchanga zaidi ana umri wa miaka 17 na mkubwa akiwa na umri wa miaka 77 Waziri wa Afya Mutahikagwe kupitia kwa taarifa amesema kuwa visa hivyo vimeripotiwa katika kaunti za Nairobi na visa 34, Kilifi 18, Mombasa 11, Busia 4, Taita Taveta 2, huku kaunti za Kirinyaga, Kiambu, Meru na Uasingishu zikiripoti kisa kimoja mtawalia. Wakati huo huo, Wizara ya Afya imedhibitisha kupona kwa watu 97, huku 31 wakiwa waliohudumiwa nyumbani na wengine 66 wakiwa leo wakihudumiwa hospitalini idadi hii sasa inafikisha watu waliopona kufikia 1031 na 97 hata hivyo watu wengine 11 wamefariki dunia na sasa kufikisha 777 jumla ya waliofariki dunia kutokana na covid-19 wini lubembe mwanga wa ebru nairobi na mtazamaji basi kufikia hapo sina la ziada ila kufunganya virago vyangu na kuondoka studioni lakini mwenzangu Davis Mberia baada ya muda kwa mrefu atakuwa anarejea studioni na Fataki na Mikiki kwa hivyo usikose kutazama kipindi hicho mtazamaji kufikia hapo basi naitwa Busara Naman na mwenzangu alikupa taarifa hizi kwa lugha ishara ni Joyce Wairimu na kutakia usiku mwanana mtazamaji